Nice to meet you. New York, he's in San Francisco. And uh, just like you were supported all these years. Well, I didn't realize I was playing that music. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, the, oh, this is uh, for the first thing. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, my father and my mother. Well, I will thank you for her. I know she'll be very pleased. And I thank you for this. It's wonderful. This is the, the largest uh, Chinese language newspaper in the world. Yeah, that's right. right. And uh, their father and uh, mother, I guess, live in Taiwan. They live in Taiwan. Well, just a Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is here today. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. had one question there that they wanted to ask you. No, actually, it's not a But we think you will turn American around. Mm. Because as a free world, we are a compound United States with an outstanding leadership. We feel secure. We feel our future for our children are bright. Especially when the statement you made in London buried the communism. <laughs> we feel <laughs> democratic freedom. That's the best system where well, mankind so far we can prevent. So really you build up build up your confidence. Not only people in the United States, also oh, the free world. Yeah. And uh, we hope God will bless you and help you I mean, to carry them. Mm -hmm. So this <laughs> is, I mean, I think, I mean, thank you. 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 Give her a 
request to the first lady. I sure will. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So Nancy, hello. Thank
church in the team, the religious country, a country that's at the core of which fought the Muslims for hundreds of years. There's a civil war there that would make it even more difficult. And the, the, the drought to build on top of the bad policies, the collectivized funding approach of the, the government, uh, all of which makes it, uh, makes it pretty hard. And what we've said is over the next, first of all, we provided the largest amount of food overall Africa <coughs> this country's ever provided in the last 12 months. The largest amount the, the U.S. has ever historically provided to Africa in the last 12 months have been provided. But in the last 45 days, we really, we, we, we've outdone ourselves, if you will. And Ethiopia alone is about 7 million people that need food in the next 12 months. And we estimate that about a million tons will be necessary for all of Africa. Those countries I was talking about, the critical countries, there is perhaps as many as 14 million people. Those figures aren't refined as Ethiopia figures, and perhaps as, as many as uh, 3 million tons will be necessary. There's no way we can get all of this together, and we shouldn't. Uh, what I've been working for, in fact, I, I have hopes that I will see the Secretary General of the UN this afternoon, is that we need an international conference of donors where we put down before us the plan for how much we need continent wide and everybody everybody picks up a reasonable piece. Only by that means can we get everybody together. And incidentally, I think the Soviets have had a few band-aids, a few planes flying around, but basically haven't done very much. And it's clear that if there's a food aid race, if you want to call it that, that we're 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 doing a great deal and we're not doing very much. And that's the that's basically the thrust to what we pursue. They were really just goosed into doing something by our own actions. Frankly, it's, it's, Mr. President has been